What's up, Internet? My name's Sammy Fightmaster, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today is my mom's birthday, so make sure to wish her a happy birthday down in the comments. So, in honor of it being my mom's birthday, I'm going to be reviewing a movie that we recently watched together, Jojo Rabbit. So, Jojo Rabbit came out at the end of last year, you know, just in time for award season and everything. You know how Hollywood does that. <laughs> just throws out some good movies in, like, December to get nominated for a bunch of awards. Which, Jojo Rabbit did that. So, Jojo Rabbit, when it first started, I was like, ooh, this was not popular in Germany, I have to bet. <laughs> so the movie is basically about World War II from a 10-year-old boy's eyes. A 10-year-old Nazi boy's eyes. Which is very interesting. <laughs> it's definitely a satire, so don't, don't go into this expecting like a quality history lesson. That's not what this is about at all. You will laugh, you will also cry. Definitely don't take it too seriously. There's a whole lot of Nazi jokes in it. Um, there's a lot of poking fun at the war um, and Germany's handling of it. It's about this boy, Jojo, who's growing up in Nazi Germany. He goes to like this Nazi camp. He wants to be a Nazi, everybody. That's like the goal. He thinks it's such a great thing. And he has an imaginary friend who is Adolf Hitler, who comes and talks to him about, you know, what he needs to do and all this stuff to be a good Nazi. And they're like best friends. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> However, Jojo finds out that his mom is hiding a Jewish girl up in their attic. So the whole movie kind of deals with that conflict of him wanting to be a good Nazi, but how does he deal with the fact that his mom is hiding somebody up there? And also this girl's not horrible, so how does he deal with that? That's basically what the movie kind of centers around. I don't want to spoil it for you if you have not seen it because it is a good movie and there's so many other aspects that go into the ending that I do not want to spoil for you. So that's basically as far as I'm going to go <laughs> into describing it because definitely when I watched the trailer, the movie I ended up seeing was not at all what I was expecting. It just wasn't. There are so many big names in this movie. It's insane. Like Scarlett Johansson, Sam Rockwell, Rebel Wilson, Alfie Allen, Taka Waititi was the writer, director, and he also played Adolf, um, the little JoJo's imaginary friend. The acting was so good in it. Obviously, you can see when you watch it why it got nominated for a lot of things. Like I said, do not take it seriously at all. Like, it's a lot of jokes. It's definitely meant to be funny, but there's a lot of seriousness underneath that. And I did cry during the movie. There is a point where you will cry. I mean, this movie, it'll bring out all the emotions. We'll be honest. Beginning is kind of slow to get to a point where you feel invested. My mom fell asleep during the beginning part. Then she woke up and she had no problem sticking with the rest of the movie. But yeah, the beginning is kind of slow to get into. It took at least the first 30 minutes before I actually was like, okay, yeah, I want to keep watching this. The acting was phenomenal because it had so many people in it. And even the little kids were so good and they were funny. Jojo's best friend. Oh, what's his name? I don't know. Jojo's best friend in this movie. He's just adorable and he's a funny little boy. But I can't remember his name now. So maybe I wasn't too invested in the movie. <laughs> if you get easily offended, this is not your movie. It's There's going to be a lot of jokes that are pushing the envelope there. Uh, so just, yeah, if you get easily offended, just stay away from this movie. You don't need to go see it then. Honestly, I would probably rate this movie about three and a half because it definitely was not the best of the award nominated movies that I've seen so far um, from this past award season. But it was good. Like, the production value and acting was good. But like I said, it was slow to kind of get you invested into the movie. Like, you weren't hooked from the opening scene. Um, it took some time. And honestly, I don't feel the need to watch it again. And yeah, I'm not going to say that you must go see this or must rent it because you can't go see it anywhere. But I'm not going to say that you have to rent it and watch it. Um, it was good. I did laugh. I cried. It was a good movie, but that's that. Like, I don't need to see it again. 
I love everybody in it. I'm big fans of all of these actors that were in it. And, yeah, nothing against them. It was just... I think it was done well. It was done well. I just... It wasn't phenomenal. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I was expecting more from it, but it wasn't a phenomenal you have to go see movie. If you disagree with me, let me know down below because I would I'd love to hear everybody else's opinions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, you should definitely do that. And then hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos, which will be every Monday, Wednesday, Friday until the foreseeable future. Again, it's my mom's birthday, so leave her some love down in the comments below because she is an awesome, awesome woman. I guess that's all that I've got for you today, so I will see you next time. Bye!